This is Nick with logosbynick.com and in today's tutorial I'll be demonstrating how you can create this abstract cube icon logo sort of design using Inkscape. So let's go ahead and open up Inkscape and we'll get started. By the way, if you'd like to know how you can make Inkscape appear dark and with these custom icons you see here to the left, a link to that information will be in the description section of the video. So the first thing we want to do here is go to File, Document Properties. We want to make sure we have our page set up so that we're all working on the same wavelength here. We want the display unit set at PX for pixels. And we want to turn off, we want to come down to where it says border and turn off where it says show page border. And that's just going to get rid of that page border in there. And then we'll go to view, make sure you have custom selected, and then we'll zoom in at one to one. And then we're going to open up the align and distribute menu with this button up here. And we're going to want last selected chosen from that drop down. And then we'll open up the edit objects, colors, gradients, and stroke menu with that button there. So the first thing we're going to do is create a polygon. So let's come over here to the stars and polygons tool. And up here from this toolbar, we're going to want the polygon selected. We're going to want six corners, rounded set to zero, randomized set to zero. So make sure you have those parameters set. And then once you have them set, go ahead and hold control and shift on the keyboard and click and drag to create a polygon like that. And we want the corners of the polygon going vertically like that. We don't want the flat edges going vertical. We want the, the pointed edges, the corners going vertical like that. And I'm going to take that and come over here to the opacity and bring that down about in half. That's pretty good. Uh, I'm going to convert that to a path by going to path, object to path. And I want to come up here to this little menu up here. I want to highlight where it says snap, snap cusp nodes. We're going to want that turned on. And uh, oops, once we have that turned on, we'll go over here to the select tool and click on the, rect uh, on the, uh, the polygon. Right click that and go to duplicate and turn that red. And I'm going to take this bottom corner down here and snap it to this top corner up here. So I'm just going to click and drag. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to snap those corners. I'm going to snap this bottom left corner to this top left corner. So I'm just going to click and drag and snap that onto there like that. And then hold shift and click on the black polygon and go to path intersection. And then I want to right click on that object and go to duplicate, turn that red and then hold control and shift on the keyboard and click and drag and scale that in about that much. We want it to be about that much smaller. And once we've done that, we can hold shift, click on the black shape beneath it and go to path difference. Now I'm just going to hold control and shift and make this a little bigger so you can see it better on your screen. Uh, yours doesn't have to be as big as mine is, but um, that should be pretty good right there. So what I'm going to do now is duplicate this again. And instead of right clicking and going to duplicate, we can just use the shortcut, which is control D. So hit control D to duplicate that and turn that green. And then I want to take this top corner and snap it to this bottom corner down here. So I'm just going to click and drag this down until it snaps in there like that. And then I want to grab the Bezier pen, which is right here, or you could press B on the keyboard to grab that. And I want to snap the cursor onto this bottom corner down here and click and come up to this corner and click and then over here and over here and then back to the starting point. So we end up with the shape right there like that. And what I want to do now is grab the select tool. I'm going to take this green object and just press delete on the keyboard to get rid of that. And then I'll take this object, this object right here that we just drew, and I'm going to make that green. And I'm going to get rid of the black outline by holding shift and clicking the X. And then I want to uh, bring down the opacity of this a little bit as well. And what I'll do next is I'll duplicate that object by hitting control D. And I want to flip that horizontally by clicking this button up here that says flip selected objects horizontally, or you can press H on the keyboard. Go ahead and press that. And then I'm going to take this corner up here, this top right corner, and snap it into this top corner up here. So I'm going to click and drag and snap that up into there. And then I want to grab the Bezier pen again, which is over here, or you can press B on the keyboard. Snap the cursor onto this bottom corner down here and click and then hold control and bring this line uh, up th to the left this way so that it runs parallel with the black edge there. Oops, I messed that up. Let me redo that. Snap to that node. Hold control, bring it up that way until it's out to about here and then click and then we can let go of control and finish this shape up going around the outside of the graphic like that. And then we'll go back to the select tool, hold shift, click on the green object, this top one up here and go to path, 
difference. So now that green object should fit within that white space there nicely. And what I want to do now is I want to take um, I want to take this green object right here, click on that, and then hold shift and click on this black object right here. And we're going to duplicate them by hitting control D. And we're going to unify them together by going to path union. And let me just make that blue. Make that blue so we could differentiate it from the rest of the graphic. And now I want to fill in this white area with solid blue. To do that, I'm going to go to path break apart and then path union. So now that's all a solid fill like that. And then I want to take this bottom corner down here and snap it to the bottom of this green corner up there like that. And then once we've done that, I'm just going to hold control and just click and drag this down a tiny bit, maybe about that much. Maybe I'll even snap these corners right there, the inside corner of this blue shape to that green corner right there. And you could zoom in and out by holding control and rolling up and down on the mouse wheel. And once we've done that, I'm going to hold shift click on the black object so we have both the blue and the black object selected and go to path difference and you know what let me undo that I hit control Z to undo that we're actually gonna want this down a little more I'm just gonna hold control and bring this down and I want to flip this vertically first before we do that so let me flip this vertically flip selected objects vertically and now let me hold control and bring this up a little more my mistake I apologize for that uh, if you make a mistake, you could always undo it by hitting Control Z or the undo button is up here. So I'm going to position that right about there and then I'll hold shift and click on the black object and go to path difference. And what I'll do now is I'll grab the Bezier pen again, which is over here, or you could press B on the keyboard, snap to this corner of the black object right there, and then click and then hold Control and bring that line straight down vertically, and then click. And now we can let go of control and finish this line of going around the outside of that green object. Back to the starting point. And we can go to the select tool, hold shift, click on the green object, and go to path difference. And then we can press one on the keyboard to zoom back out to 100%. So what I want to do now is I want to take this green object right here, right click that and go to duplicate. And I want to click on it a second time so we get the rotation handles and I'm going to hold control on the keyboard and grab this top right corner arrow and just rotate this around clockwise until the shape is sitting vertically like that and we could take this and just snap this in here like that and this should fit in there nicely and then I want to right click that and go to duplicate and I'll just bring this off to the side we're going to come back to that in just a second I'm actually going to make this a darker shade of green I'll make that dark green and then I'll click on this green object, hold shift, click on that green object, and go to path union. And now what I want to do is take this dark green object and snap it into the corner right there. And I want to trim off the edge, trim off the tail of this dark green object so that it matches, it, 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 it rests on the, um, the black edge there. So to do that, we'll grab the Bezier pen. Again, just press B on the keyboard for that. Snap to this corner, click. Hold control and bring the line straight up and to the left. Whoops, I messed up again. Straight up and to the left. So it runs parallel with the edge of the black object. And click. Let go of control. Bring it back around to the starting point. We'll go back to the select tool. Hold shift. Click on the dark green object and go to path difference. And let me zoom out a little bit to show. So I'll show you what we should be at, what we should have right now. Uh, let's take this green object down here and let's hit Control D to duplicate that. And th let's make that a dark, uh, a dark shade of green. And we'll flip that horizontally with that button there. And we're just going to come over here and put this on this side like that. So what I want to do now is take this dark green object, hold Shift, click on the light green object next to it. And with them both selected, we'll go to the Edit Paths by Nodes tool, which is up here or you could just press uh, F2 on the keyboard to grab that. And I want to click and drag over these bottom three nodes right here. So I'm going to click and drag over those bottom three nodes and then I'm just going to hold control and just click and drag these nodes straight down about that far. And again, to zoom in and out, just hold control and roll up and down the mouse wheel. Let me move them up a little more. About that far is pretty good. Let me, maybe a little more. That's pretty good right there. So what I want to do now is I want to get rid of that area where it intersects with the other objects. So 
I'll, uh, I'll grab the select tool. I'll click on this light green object right here. Hold shift, click on the black object. And I'll hit control D to duplicate that and go to path union. And then I'll make that red just so we can differentiate it from the rest of the graphic. And I wanna duplicate that one more time by hitting control D. And with that second copy selected, I'm gonna hold shift, click on the dark green object and go to path difference. And then I'll click on the other red object, hold shift, click on the light green object to the right and go to path difference. And what I wanna do now is hold shift, click on the dark green object so we have both of those selected and I wanna duplicate them by hitting control D. And I wanna flip them horizontally with this button up here. And I just wanna bring this and snap it over to the right side so we have this over here like that. And what we'll do now is I'm gonna click and drag over this whole thing and I'm gonna group it together with this button right here, group selected objects. And I'm just gonna scale mine down a little bit. I'm gonna hold control and shift and scale it down. And I'm gonna duplicate this by hitting control D and I'll bring this over here up to the side. I'm gonna click on it a second time to get the rotation handles and I'm gonna hold control and take this bottom right corner arrow right here and rotate it counterclockwise. And the number of steps we're gonna go is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight steps like that. And then we're gonna go ahead and just snap these corners together like that right there. And then we could just duplicate that by hitting control D. Flip that horizontally with this button up here and then snap this over to this side over here. And it's starting to take shape, we're almost done. So the way that I stylized this is that I made it, uh, I made strokes or outlines rather out of it. So if you want, you could leave it as it is and just color it in to, to, to give it like a, uh, like a three dimensional sort of look using gradients or whatever, or you could do what I'm about to do now. So I'm gonna click and drag over all three of those and ungroup them with the ungroup selected objects button. Let me just click it a few more times to make sure everything's ungrouped. And I wanna bring the opacity all the way up. And I wanna make these all one solid color. So I'm gonna make them like a light shade of gray like that. And what I wanna do now is give them an outline by holding shift and clicking on like a dark shade of gray like that. And they're all gonna be different sized outlines. To fix that, we're gonna come over to the stroke style tab. And where it says percentage, we're gonna change that to PX. And the width, we're gonna make that, I'll start out with five and see how that looks. All right, that's pretty good, I'll leave it at five. And where it says join, we're gonna want a rounded join right there like that. And then we can click off of that to deselect everything. So what we wanna do now is we wanna to connect together these parts right here. If you notice here in the thumbnail, these parts are one object in here, whereas they're separated in here. And let me just do this to uh, better demonstrate it. I'll click on this object right here and then hold shift and click on this object right here. And with them both selected, I'll go to path union and that unifies them, unifies them together to one shape. And I'm gonna do the same thing over here. Click on that, hold shift, click on that, go to path union and there you have that. We'll do this down here as well. Click on this shape, hold shift, click on that shape, go to path union. And let me press one on the keyboard to zoom back out to 100%. And if you wanna change the color of the outline, what you could do is click and drag over everything and come down here to your color picker and find the shade that you want. And then just before you click on that shade, make sure you hold shift on the keyboard and then pick the color. Because if you don't hold shift, it's gonna set the fill color rather than the stroke filler, uh, stroke fill color. So uh, if, I make, if I just click on like a light shade of orange, it's gonna make that orange. But if I hold shift and click on uh, like a dark green over here, it's gonna make that dark green. And I can make the fill like a lighter green like that. And that pretty much does it for this tutorial. That's how you can go about creating that sort of design using Inkscape. So if you have any questions, let me know. And as always, thanks for watching.